Hi there, my name is Savannah Jensen, and today I'm going to be talking you through which cost allocation tool might be right for your use case. We'll be going over billing conductor, custom billing views, invoice configuration, and cost categories, and talking through kind of all of the applications for each and when you might want to use which one. Cost allocation in general can be one of the more complex questions within the AWS FinOps world, especially at scale. The top three things that we usually hear folks talk about when they are kind of going on their cost allocation journey are how to handle shared cost, how to provide cost visibility for all the different groups of their business, and of course, how to minimize the amount of manual work needed to solve these problems and kind of sustainably do this work. So as I mentioned, we have four cost allocation tools that I'll be covering today. Um, they are part of the AWS billing suite, and each of them has kind of their own different wrinkle or a specific use case that I will be helping demystify today. So let's go ahead and start with AWS Billing Conductor. Billing Conductor is a billing engine that allows you as a FinOps owner to apply your own custom rates to AWS billing data. Essentially, you can set a markup, set a discount, add something called a custom line item within your billing conductor groups to tinker with the end cost that your end users will see within Cost Explorer, within all of the downstream AWS tools, and at the end of the day, in their charge out. Billing conductor also offers the ability to enforce and restrict cost visibility boundaries within your AWS organization um, based on the billing group setup that you configure and which account you set up as the primary account. The key thing to know with Billing Conductor is it allows for that pricing customization. So if you are a FinOps professional and you would like to kind of show a business unit that is in your organization and has 10 accounts, a 5% markup on a certain service, you can leverage Billing Conductor to set up that 5% markup, set that 10 account limit, and kind of create what functions like a sub organization within the billing tools so that they see the pricing that you want them to see and they can see all of the accounts within their unit. Custom Billing Views is kind of similar to Billing Conductor in the visibility piece, but not so much in the customized rate piece. So the reason why you would want to use custom billing views is to give cost and usage data access and transparency to subgroups of different member accounts. It essentially allows you to take a cost explorer view for a subset of your organization and then share that view with different stakeholders throughout the organization um, via their linked account. So gone are the days when a linked account could only see that linked account's costs as long as you configure a custom billing view that allows that linked account to kind of see and share all of the data that you would like to control as the administrator. The best example of this is if you have those 10 member accounts in a business unit again, um, and you'd like to give every one of those 10 member accounts visibility into all the spend of each of the 10 member accounts, you can create a custom billing view that includes all 10 of the accounts and then share that custom billing view with each of the accounts. Then your end users will be able to log into each of those member accounts, take a peek at the kind of billing view that you've configured for them, and they'll be able to see all of the account spend, even if they're only logged in through one of the linked accounts. Invoice configuration is a little bit farther downstream, um, and it relates to invoices, as the name suggests. So the invoice configuration feature at its core allows you as a FinOps end user and an admin to split the invoices that AWS sends you. Generally speaking, if you don't have invoice configuration set up, we will send you one consolidated bill for each AWS organization that includes all of the linked accounts usage in that consolidated invoice. Invoice configuration allows you to configure what those invoice groupings look like and receive separate AWS invoices for separate groups of member accounts. 
the a common use case here is if you have two different business units in your organization and each one of them wants their own invoice that only involves their spend and only includes what is kind of unique to their subset of member accounts, um, you can configure invoice configuration and put each of them into invoicing groups and then get two separate invoices, one for the first one and one for the second one. And then the last feature I'll touch on today is AWS cost categories. This one is a little bit different from the other three as it focuses mostly on categorizing, grouping, and labeling. Cost categories is a rules engine that maps your costs and cost and usage data into certain labels that you specify based on rules that you configure within the functionality. What this can do is allow you to put human readable names and map business unit information or other metadata that you'd like on your costs uh, into the AWS system so that you can then use it for chargeback discovery purposes and have it in all of the different downstream billing tools. So if you have business units under your organization with specific names and you don't necessarily want to split up their invoices you don't need to enforce visibility boundaries but you do want a way to just see who belongs to what when you're looking at the linked accounts or if you'd like a column in your cur that has essentially the human readable name of each of them associated with every line of usage that you get you can use cost categories to label that spend based on your logic Let's recap. So if you need to alter the rates or pricing shown in AWS Billing Tools at all, um, then you need AWS Billing Conductor. If you'd like to provide separate invoices to your business units, you need invoice configuration. If you'd like to create a multi-account view of Cost Explorer data or billing data within the AWS console using the existing rates and bill, billing data that you see at the payer account level, you need custom billing views. If you'd like to create a multi-account view in Cost Explorer using customized rates or pricing, again, think we're customizing the rates and changing how that looks for end users, then you need Billing Conductor. And if you'd like to group your costs based on cer certain specifications or add some of that labeling to the puzzle, you need AWS Cost Categories. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this was helpful to kind of demystify some of the differences between our tooling suite. If you have any questions or if you like this content, please comment below or reach out to cost optimization at amazon.com. Thank you.